Hello. Uh, can you bring us up to date on the situation with the fitness of the players, particularly how Phil Foden, Manuel Akanji and John Stones are, please? Right now, Phil is completely recovered from his illness. Manu is... Manu's problem was more for prevention. It wasn't anything serious. He's more or less there, and John, we're more or less there as well. Any other problems? Algunos, algunos otros problemas con el equipo. No, with Bellac we're okay, but you know we're still we're still fine. We're okay. It's not decisive, you know. Okay. Preparing for this match against Fulham, I know it's transfer deadline day, and the club is working on a lot of transfers, which I'm sure will be, you'll be asked about. But specifically this game, how are you preparing for this match? ¿Cómo estás preparando para este partido? Bueno. It's the same as the previous game, but with, with Pep, you know, with more, with more energy, there would be more energy with Pep. We're in complete contact with Pep all the time. You know, we share as well. We share our responsibility. He always likes to share. We have our roles very well defined by him, and we continue on the right path, but... But he obviously continues to intervene to, to... We're not quite finished in our preparation for the game. Gracias. Thank you. Andy, at the top, please, guys. Hello, Juanma. Uh, just, just on Pep, how is he? How much have you, you heard from him this week? And is he still going to be back when you're... Yes, <laughs> yes. I speak very regularly with him. Not just in footballing terms, professional terms. He's much, much better. He's a lot, lot better. Things are taking place the way that they should do, and I feel really happy to hear that here. Well, all of us feel delighted. We are really, really looking forward to him getting back. We can't wait. And the news this morning about the signings of Mateus Nunes completed. Is he going to be available to play against Fulham? I still don't know. I know that he's going to be a City player, but if he's going to be available, I still don't know. I don't have that information. Has um, Mateus Nunes trained today? Will he train today? No, 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 no. No, he still won't be training. Um, you've let some key players go. Cole Palmer is one that has moved. How sad as a, as a club are you to see him go and how, what are your messages to him as he moves to a new challenge? Well, I'm not going to, don't need to send messages out, but this is the reality. We can't it's very difficult to go against the player's wishes. When a player wants to go, it's very difficult to go against that. You know, and obviously we have to work out the operation that has value for the club as well. On the other side, there's a, there's a pride that... That these kind of young players keep creating player upon player. They're starting to, you know, give life to the rest of the, the country within Chelsea. It's, we have to be pride and satisfied as a club, Manchester City, that we've done this. And to deny a footballer the opportunity to do what he wants to do is very, very difficult. Can I just ask one final one about João Cancelo? Because there's been a lot of speculation about his future. The deadline is going to pass at some point tonight. Do you expect him to still be a Manchester City player by the time you face Fulham? Yeah. You can ask me things, but what I can't give you is an answer to this. Of course you can ask, no problem. But to be honest, I have nothing to add. Because I've been in training, I've just come here to the press conference. I have nothing that I can add to help you with that question.